Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. It's the Eighth of Spades here back with another video. Today we are checking out arrows and bullets. Uh, before we get started, could you give me a little thumbs up and slide it over and hit that subscribe button? I would really appreciate it. Uh, Alright, let's get to it. So, the purpose of these videos is I get a lot of games advertised to me like on Facebook and Instagram. And I'm always sitting there thinking like, are these games really that good? Because, you know, they always say something like, oh, number one MMORPG, number one idol game, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, these can't all be number one. So I figured there was a lot of the people out there like me wondering if the games are worth it to download. So I download them. I take the clickbait. I accept it. And... I play them, test them out for a little bit, and then I come back here and leave a few tidbits of information so y'all can make a decision on whether or not you want to check it out. Now, this game, if you look at the comments on any of the ads, the reviews in the Play Store, everybody is trashing this game. Now, I'm not here to say it's any world breaker or anything, but... The amount of flame this game is getting, I just don't understand. Or maybe I just have a really simple mind. One or the other. Um, it's uh, it's a bit more in-depth than your average idle game. I would probably classify it as an idle game. Um, you get various rewards. Like They are really generous with the rewards. I know a lot of the comments was that it was pay to win. Now, don't get me wrong. You do hit paywalls. And they are ridiculous. But if you're free to play, that also means you know these games come with a grind. So you should be okay with that grind. And this game will let you get anywhere you want to go. You just have to grind. And by grind, that means you wait. It is an idle game. So you have to let it be idle to collect your rewards. If you want to speed up the progress, then you got to pay. So you will never be the number one on the server if you don't pay. Uh, this game is not designed to let you do that. Unless you're playing an old server and it has died out and you are the only person left. However... There are also other ads that show how you go from level 1 to 99 to level 999 after only a couple hours. 999 is not possible in a couple hours unless you pay. However, I went from level 1 to I think 270 in about an hour and a half. Now that kind of progress is enough to keep me playing. The downside is there are only a certain number of levels. So in the beginning there's like three levels. And it goes up to five. Maybe six. But each difficulty, the levels are the same. The levels don't change. Your rewards get better. So you can progress further and get stronger, but it's the same levels. So you wind up watching your guy or girl shoot up the same levels over and over again. Uh, that gets a bit monotonous. There are a couple other game modes, but they're all pretty much the same. Uh, besides your main character, you have... Uh, up to five other heroes that fight alongside of you as well as two minions or monsters or pokemon whatever you want to call them uh, they also fight alongside you and you can uh, equip uh, four different pieces of gear so there's multiple multiple ways to level up and get stronger and that right that doesn't mention this relic system the talent system the rune system uh, you can upgrade all the heroes, you can upgrade all the minions, you can upgrade all your equipment. Then, your heroes can also get minions attached to them. 
so those can be upgraded then minions can have equipment attached to them so those can be upgraded and it's just like one big continuous upgrade cycle and eventually you won't be able to level up to the max without either a paying or b waiting um in the beginning you will over level and you'll have more resources than you could possibly use however you will eventually hit that wall and then resources do not come as quickly uh, but for all the hate this game got i played it for a while i even dropped a little bit of money into it i'm not gonna lie i played it I, it deserves more than a 3.3 like it held my attention longer than some of these other games I play and I have a very short attention span when it comes to games especially mobile games so in my opinion this game is worth checking out for the sheer overpower over leveling alone like that was enough to keep me in entertained so uh that's it I'm the eighth of spades thank you for watching Please like and subscribe, and if there's any other games out there you see that got a terrible rating that you're not quite sure about, let me know and I'll check it out. So uh, thanks again for watching, I will see y'all in the next video, peace!